Hello, thank you for watching this video, which is a presentation of uh, some analysis of the how our school's public examinations uh, went this year, 2013. I'm going to start by looking at some uh, figures on the IGCSEs, and then I'll move on to AS and A-level. So, an analysis of St. Lawrence College 2013 exam results. Well, with IGCSEs, there were 504 exam entries spread over 64 candidates. And from those 504 entries, I think the most startling figure was the percentage that achieved A star. 34% of those 504 IGCSEs resulted in an A star. This is a remarkable percentage. It's higher than we've ever achieved before. And uh, just to give it some historical perspective, back in 2011, that figure was 26%. Itself very impressive, and that was a record then. 26% of IGCSEs taken in 2011 got an A star. Last year, 2012, we increased that to 31%, and we were very pleased with that. It was a record for the school. So when I say that this year, 2013, we made it 34%, it's just very, very impressive. I don't know how much longer we can keep increasing those numbers, but we're going to do our best. So 34% of all of the GCSEs taken at our school this summer resulted in an A star. What about the other grades? Well, as I said, 34% were A star. Another 22% were A grades, 20% were B grades, and 13% were C grades. Now those are individual grade uh, proportions, but if I make that cumulative, you can see that the A star plus A's were 56%. More than half of all the GCSEs taken resulted in A star or A. To get an A star requires 90% on the GCSE exam. To get an A requires 80%. So what I'm saying is that 56% of all of the GCSEs taken scored 80% or higher, um, a real achievement. That 56% is the same as last year for A star plus A. But A star plus A plus B, 76% is higher than last year. And right down to the C grade, 89%. So the vast majority of GCSEs taken got at least a C grade. Um, I picked out here three the three science subjects, biology, chemistry and physics, and with these cumulative percentages, you can see, just as an example of, of some subjects, the science uh, subjects, um, you can see just how, how well those subjects did. So, look at that. To get an A star or an A, 71% of biology and chemistry, and surprisingly physics, exactly the same uh, percentage, got A star or A. Really good results in our science departments at IGCSE. And as you can see, over 90% got at least a C grade in these science subjects. Very, very impressive results. Moving on, some individual points to make as I, as I finish with IGCSE. Uh, there was one pupil who got 10 A stars. Uh, nothing could be better than that, 10 A stars. So well done to that pupil. And several pupils got eight or nine A stars. Very fine achievements. 89% of all the pupils who took IGCSE got at least one A star. Incidentally, that's up from 87% last year. So nearly all the children got at least one A star. 92% of the pupils got at least five GCSEs from grade A to C. This five GCSEs from grade A to C is a standard measurement for the success of a, of a school's uh, pupil body, and 92% would rank us very high uh, indeed if we were ranked alongside British schools in, in the UK. 100% of pupils got five grade A to G uh, IGCSEs, so again, very impressive. Now, I'll move on from IGCSE and move on to the AS and A levels. The first thing to say is that, of course, AS and A-levels, most children take three or four subjects at AS or A-levels. Sometimes pupils take more than that, but that's rare. And we had a record number of entries this year. 
a record number of entries because we had 302 entries, uh, subject entries, uh, this year. That's, that's up on last year, 280, and uh, considerably up on the year before 2011 when there were 215 entries. So more entries at AS level and A level than ever before. And the proportion of the AS levels and A levels that resulted in A or A star grades was 41%. Compares very, uh, very successfully with the global um, proportion that got A or A star. Just to remind you, A star can only be achieved at full A level. And it requires that the pupil gets 90% or better on the second half, the second year of their A level studies. Only an A grade can be achieved at AS level. So, A star and A grade, 41% of all of, the, of all of the exams taken resulted in the top grade. And uh, that's a lot higher than the global average. So well done to the, to the A level pupils of St. Lawrence there. Um, however, it's not a record. We can't be breaking every record every year. Uh, this is not a record. 2012, we saw 44% getting A or A star, so we didn't quite get to where we were last year, but it's still a very, very good score, um, and in fact, it's the joint second best year in the last 10 years. So we can still be very proud of this. 41% is a very good achievement. Um, and breaking it down by grades, you can see then 41% got A or A star, 23% got B, 19% of the AS and A levels taken resulted in a C, 9% in a D, 4% in an E. And if I turn these numbers into cumulative totals, we see that we can say that 64%, two thirds of all of the AS and A level exams taken at St. Lawrence College resulted in an A star, an A or a B. And well over four out of every five got at least a C. Um, and then D and E, so you can see that nearly all of the AS and A levels taken passed. E is a passing grade at AS and A level. Um, in fact, it's a record number of passes because if we compare it to the last two years, you can see that the proportion of exams taken at AS and A level, uh, this was a record pass rate, 96%. 24 out of every 25 got a grade. And that's higher than the previous two years. Okay, moving on. I've picked out two groups of subjects here, uh, just to give you an indication of the kind of level of success at a subject level. For instance, and, and this is just A level now, not AS level, just A level. So for instance, art and design. Three of the ten pupils who took the art and design A level got an A star. Well done, Myra. Well done, Angela. Well done, Eurasimos. Very, very impressive to get an A star. It's no surprise, we've seen your artwork around the school. Great, great work. Everyone was so impressed, and clearly the examiners have been very impressed by you as well. Well done to you. And in the languages, English literature, French, Greek, Russian, there was no pupil falling below the C grade. Everyone in all of those A levels got at least a C grade. Well done to all of you as well. Some individual successes. At AS level, there were two pupils who took six subjects. That's just exceptional. Six subjects at AS level, and both of those pupils got straight grade A's. Six grade A's each at AS level. There were also five pupils who took four uh, AS levels and got four grade A's. Very well set up as they move on to their full A level. At full A level, there were seven pupils who got A stars, nine pupils got at least three grade A's, and every A level taken from every pupil was passed, at least an E grade. There was nothing below an E grade in any subject by any pupil at A level. Quite an achievement. So, where are they going? Those that are leaving us for higher education, um, most of them, about 80-85% of them, are going to the UK, to universities in the UK. And here are just a sample uh, of some of the universities where they're going to. Birmingham, Oxford, Sheffield, Sussex, very popular university, uh, and so on. If you wish to look at that in more depth, pause the video now and you can read through that. But not everyone is, staying, uh, is going to the UK. Many are 
are not going to the UK, they're going somewhere else in the world to complete uh, their education in a higher education institution. And here are some examples. I think I've ranked these in order of how far away they are from us in Greece. So Australia, America, Canada, and within Europe, the Netherlands, Italy, and some people are staying here in Athens then going to uh, the American College, uh, Diri College uh, in Athens. So you can see it's not just Britain that people progress to, although the, the majority do go to British universities and are doing so this year. And what will they be studying when they get there? All kinds of things. If you'd like to read through this, this is a sample of some of the things that, some of the subjects that our pupils will be studying from September all over the world. I'll let you pause the screen and read through it um, if you wish. And it just remains for me to say congratulations to everybody, that's the pupils of course, but their teachers, teachers, not just of the teachers of children in their examination year, which is just the final year of a cumulative process that happens right from kindergarten. Congratulations to all the teachers who have contributed to the success of the pupils. I know that all the teachers are very proud of their pupils. Congratulations to parents uh, who have inspired and encouraged and cajoled their children into working hard. But most of all, well done to you pupils. You've contributed to our success and uh, I wish you every success as you move on to the next stage of your education. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.